Hi everyone, hope you're well. It's Sunday the 28th of July 2013 and me myself, I'm not actually feeling particularly well today. Um, I got up very late and I've got a bit of a sick tummy bug thing so I ha I'm not exactly 100% if I seem a little bit rambly or out of it it's because I'm just not completely with it hopefully I'll feel a little bit a little bit better tomorrow um, because of that I haven't got a whole lot done today um, I got up very late because of it I usual distraction of sort of like just watching YouTube videos and Twitter and stuff and playing games usual distractions and um, actually on the subject of Twitter I did see a really good um, there's a channel called Hoo Ha who do really a really good series with uh, Bing, who's a very good YouTuber. Um, goes around interviewing um, and animators, and it's called Heroes of Animation. And there's a really good one today with David Firth, who did like Salad Fingers and stuff, and him talking about um, his creative process and stuff. Um, so that's really interesting because he's an extremely original animator, if not a bit disturbing. Um, so. Be warned if you if you're not familiar with his stuff. I'm a fan of his stuff, but it's not necessarily for everyone. Um, but he's very very interesting, um, creative guy. Um, so go and look that up if you're interested. Um, so the rest of the today, I have just been distracted for a couple of hours looking at other things on Kickstarter, looking at successful projects and other projects and stuff. I quite often browse them a bit when I'm working on stuff for my dice game, but I got very distracted today, like, looking at stuff that I hadn't noticed before. Um, so I found some really cool stuff that I'm definitely going to, like, look up further, um, in mostly in successful projects, you know, so I'm going to look them up and see if they're actually kind of um, openly available now, um, now they've been set up and um, established and everything. Um, so... <laughs> well, so I was meant to be doing stuff in my dice game. Been thinking a lot about uh, the play testing, um, and so that 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 was my plan for today was to actually draw up some rules to hand out, you know, put out, put up on the internet for everyone to a anyone who wants to like test the game. And um, I haven't got around to doing that because I've been feeling so ill. Um, I might try and force myself to do it. It's getting late though. I don't think it's going to get done, but I'll probably do that do that tomorrow instead it's only a day difference um and playtesting feels like the one thing that might hold it up and might put me off starting the kickstarter on the first which is what i want to do um but i think i it sh i should be able to like play test it throughout the kickstarter and if i decide to tweak any of the rules they can be tweaked i don't think there's going to be any major changes to the game any changes that will be made can just be made on, you know, written into the rules rather than actually changing the dice or anything like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm starting to feel a little bit panicked about um, it starting on the first, but I think it should be all right. And it's, you know, it's a good kind of pressure. It's a good kind of um, feeling the pressure to actually get stuff done and concentrate on it. And I guess finally, that's one other thing I've been thinking about quite a lot today, which I think I've talked about before. But the idea was sort of like focusing on one thing and how eliminating stuff and focusing on a few things is so much more effective than trying to juggle and organize lots and lots of things at once. And it's so tempting to do that. And that's what I've always done all my life. It's like had loads of things on the go at once and you always feel really busy and you feel like, oh, I'm working really hard and getting doing loads of stuff. And it kind of feels, um, you can kind of trick yourself into thinking that you're being terribly clever and productive and everything by doing loads of stuff at once. But actually none of it's very good really. And um, you can just, just focusing on one thing at a time, you can really give it your all. And it's the feeling of having to give other stuff up, but then you realise you, you don't have to give it up, you just, like, delay it, you know, you just, you're still just focusing on one project at a time and stuff actually gets done, rather than everything taking forever, um, s stuff is just put off, you know, and then it becomes the next project that you focus on. So, um... I'm thinking of that. I'm thinking maybe still juggling multiple projects in the future, but kind of concentrating on one thing a day rather than trying to do um, a bit of everything every day, uh, which is what I used to do as well. Um, I think I might be able to 
draw up quite a good schedule, uh, concentrate concentrating on sort of like one thing a day. Like I could do could do like all my gaming videos on one day or something, and all my non gaming on another day or something. And these vlogs obviously have to be every day anyway, uh, but they don't really count. These aren't really hard work. And um, and you know, and other projects, you know, like making a game could be sort of like you know Thursday, Friday, Saturday or something could be coding days or whatever. Uh, rather than trying to do all sorts of things each day. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit out of it, so I'm not feeling very well. So I'll stop the vlog here. Um, I hope you're well, and I will see you tomorrow.